We're now doing more than lower back and, uh, and hip. Um, I will use now two towels, the T-towel. So on the lower, you just hang it to the underwear and then that um, pillows. Do you have any pillows? Sorry. Oh, yes. Thank you. Good, just as a reminder to bend the knees even more. And uh, then, can you uh, take the, yes, good, and tuck this under? Thank you, great. So that's the preparation that we're treating with. Uh, start with the oil, thank you. Now, if you notice, this way, when you're working from above, shoulders goes quite floppy, yeah? So you can do that over here, but when you do that, look at my wrist joint, yeah? yeah? It's quite <coughs> bendy, right? So another really nice way to work is uh, I put a little bit too much oil, so I will just drape it a little bit, yeah? Is to do uh, coming from here and with the thumbs working on the side this way. And it's kind of a really nice and easy way to work on the spine. You can do that with both hands. So it's, it's massaging the, the erector spine. You're coming from the outside onto inside. You can do that as well with, with the knuckles. And if you create enough pressure, yeah, it feels very easy and very nice. Yeah. Uh, you can do as as well. You're creating that kind of a form, and then. So really try to use as many application as possible. So you let your fingers to be fresh. Otherwise, if you're doing just thumbs or just knuckles, it's hard. You need to change all the time. Yet another way is to come from here. And it's quite nice because you just put your fingers and the fingers are there. Yeah. Uh, you can come from the outside in or from inside out, yeah, both ways, yeah. This is especially good when you start working on the lower back because you can have a space without ribs and it's really nice access for two muscles, the erector spinae and what's the second muscle? The quadratus lumbarum. So quadratus lumbarum, just to tell you, attached to the spine, to the hip, upper hip, and the lower rib. So it's a quadrate shape. So you can come from here, and from the erector spiny, and you, you're palpating and going towards the tummy. And suddenly you feel that actually the muscle end, and you fall into kind of more softish area. You go back, and the first one is the quadratus lumbarum. And a lot of people, this might be very tight and tender, so be careful. Yeah? If it is a nice way to work, uh, to massage the quadratus lumbarum, is by moving the hip a little bit. So how do I do that? I put my fingers here on the space between the hip and the lower ribs. And then mobilizing the hip. What I do is push the hip upward. And by then laxing the muscle. Do you see why? If the muscle starts from here to here, if you move the hip that way, 
you're relaxing the muscle. Yeah? You can relax the muscle or you can rotate the lower back a little bit. Yeah, you're pushing the hip this way. Or you're holding the spine here and you move the hip backward. It's the opposite of doing that. Do you see that? Yeah, rotation this way, rotation that way. Yeah. Um, you can do the same technique coming from here. So you're looking for quadratus lumbarum. There. And a lot of the lower back pain, I will treat exactly this way. I'll come from the outside, quadratus lumbarum, treat the, the lower, the erector spiny. Then you can come here and, sorry, and uh, do some uh, mobilization to the hip. Uh, and even, that's what it comes down, even you start working on the gluteus muscles. Yeah, very good working on the gluteus muscles. Sacrum itself as well. And coming from this direction, um, uh, you need to change the, you need to change, uh, to work on the thigh itself, you need to change your uh, draping. Yeah? And how do you do that? Uh, you're taking draping and then you put that in between the two legs yeah and then with the top towel you're creating uh, a saddle yeah like that so the towel goes all around yeah it's important to have two big towels for that yeah and then you can have a nice area. I just want you to, go, to come and see it. Yeah. You're creating a nice area that you can work on. Can we take yeah. this up? Yeah. And, <laughs> and, um, and then you you work on this side very good, very good on, on a lot of people to work on the iliotibial band. Remember from yesterday someone asked me, where is the iliotibial band? And what's the name of that small muscle? The tense, the fascia? <laughs> okay, tense, the fascia latte, okay? So, um, it's, I think it's the best way to work on the iliotibial band. Sometimes it would be quite tender, so just be sure that you do it slow. Yeah. Yeah. If it's, if it's uh, too tight, you can even work a little bit to warm it this way. Um, at times what happens is that the tensor fascia latte, when it's very tight, means that the amount of movement in the hip joint is not as good. And that means that the lower back would move more. And it would be abuse. So uh, really try to think, if you have a problem somewhere, like a backache, where the area that would not do enough movement, 
uh, aware areas that do too much in trying to even this up. Yeah? A nice way with the thumbs underneath. Okay, is, um, there is, okay. What I would like to show you, oh, these are small. Mm. Yeah, they are too small. I know, so, sorry. Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. To just to be sure, just you, you see if the, if the towels are small, it's very hard to, thank you, it's quite hard to, uh, to work. So I would just want to show you the draping that is very important. Yeah, let's take that. So, um, I'll take that out. Yeah, so again, if you are in a normal position of that, yeah, you're taking the towel and you, you can make it again wider, uh, not the tea towel, but it will be like too long along the side. Yeah, and then you're creating a space in here. Yeah, Oops. yeah, you're creating a space. Lower it, so then you work on this space. Okay. Even downward, you could work on the peroneal muscles. Are they required muscle? I think. Yes, I think they are. Yeah, peroneal muscle. Or tibialis anterior, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so an approach. Um, what I suggest, we'll do this session, try to find <coughs> out the, all the muscles working from all the direction, and probably after that we'll do another session to refine that. Okay, because it's quite a lot, okay? So uh, let's start, shall we?